Hello Universe, I am C Dub Money Mustachio Gamer. Thank you for stopping by. It is November 1st. And as I had mentioned in one of my previous uh, episodes, previous videos, that I would upload a video of me shaving for November. And that's what this video is. So if that's why you stopped by, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I wanted to go over kind of what's been going on in my life. This is the new house and I just with the help of a friend of mine, got done painting this wall right behind me. It's a really cool gray color. If I pan around, you can see that color brown is what the wall was. And I'm going to, I've already started taping off the other, uh, the other wall. So I've been very, very, very busy. I give you kind of a real quick tour. That's the living room, the kitchen, and the hallway to the garage. So I go down the hallway and now it's dark. It's so spooky. Nah, not too bad. Uh, and this is the uh, bathroom. I haven't done really anything with the bathroom, but here we are. Now I had talked, yeah, I had talked to um, a coworker of mine. Where did I put it? There it is. I'm still trying to find where I put stuff. I talked to a coworker of mine, and I had told him that I was going to shave this year using broken glass. Now, uh, the reality is. That is possible, it is doable. I have actually done it before, but I did it more as a demonstration, uh, just shaving hair off my arm. Uh, I had basically made the decision to shave with broken glass, a shard of broken glass, kind of on a whim. It's like, hey, I, I think I'm gonna do this. Um, I did a little bit of research into it, ultimately decided not to, the reason being, this water is not heating up very fast, but I knew that with this house. Um, the reason being that although broken glass definitely is sharp enough to shave or cut hair, the problem you run into, or, or I was likely to run into, was that bits and pieces of glass, really tiny shards of the glass, would actually break off and get stuck in my skin. I thought, yeah, you know what? I don't really want any part of that. So I am not going to shave broken glass. That's why. But as always, I'm not going to start. Now that I've got hot water, I'll turn that off so you can hear me a little better, hopefully. I'm not going to start by dragging my razor through this. It's actually, I don't know what time it is because I use my phone to measure time. It's after 7. It's probably close to 8. And... I didn't remember to bring, I didn't bring my clippers from the apartment. I had to stop by the apartment on the way home after work today to get the clippers so I could do this for you guys. Start with the curl. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I don't have, I don't really want to wash all this hair down the sink. but I don't have a trash can in here. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about Movember. I created my Movember page. Let's turn this so you can see me. Created my Movember page uh, very recently. Usually I do it really, really early. I do it sometime in October, or like early October. I'm so right-handed, it's not even funny level-ish. I can straighten it up later if I have to. Um, so I, when I created my Movember page, I realized I have been doing this for 14 years. Been supporting Movember for 14 years. They raise money and awareness for men's health issues, namely prostate cancer, testicular cancer. They added mental health recently year or two ago. Man, I feel like I look heavy. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year they added uh, just a level of physical health in terms of, you know, get up, get active, get outside, take care of your self on just a more generic healthy level. Holy crap. That's okay. That's why I wore this shirt. So, Definitely go check out their page. 
donate to it if you would. My donation link will be in the description below if you want to go and support me and support Movember. Like I said, it's something I've done for a long, long time. It's actually kind of where me and my mustache all got started, if you will. Because, for those of you who don't know, I don't think I put this in the other video. The way the handlebar came to be, so many, many, many years ago, when I very first started doing Movember, I, there we go, was pretty much, ever since I could grow up facial hair, I have always been a goatee guy. I started growing a goatee in high school. And... Uh, yeah, so I always grew a goatee, and when I decided to start participating in Movember, I just uh, grew my regular old mustache. Now, I say my regular old mustache. My regular old mustache now is the handlebar. But back then, it wasn't anything special. It was just a, just a mustache. And as soon as December 1st rolled around, I grew the goatee back. No big deal. Well, some years ago... I was talking to a colleague of mine today. I think it was about seven years ago, give or take. I decided, you know what? I want to try just for shits and giggles. I want to try growing a handlebar, handlebar mustache. And so I did, except I, I grow facial hair pretty quick, but I could not grow I could not grow a handlebar or a mustache long enough to handlebar in a month's time. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't be done. But because I had decided to... Oh, did I nick myself? Ooh, I'll have to go back and look at the video see if I cut myself. Hmm. Um, yeah, because I had decided that year to grow a handlebar... There we go. I just decided to keep going after November 30th or December 1st rolled around and was finally able to handlebar it around the first of the year. It takes me about two months to grow a handlebar. There we go. Let's see. A seven minute video compared to over 10 last year. Um, oh no. I have no aftershave because I left it at the apartment. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. All right. Well, we'll put some cold water on it, close up the pores anyway. Hooey. All right. But yeah, so after July, January came around, I just. <laughs> And that's the story, no. Um, January rolled around, I finally started to handle by the mustache, and I got a lot of compliments on it. Although, if you ask my brother Toxic, he'll say they weren't compliments, they were comments. There's a difference. They were compliments. And I decided to keep it. And this is what a babyface seed dub money looks like. <laughs> so... If you haven't been watching my Far Cry uh, 4 single player Let's Play campaign series, watching me get eaten by alligators. Ow. Come here. <gasps> oh my god, what the hell? Hey, 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 Oh my god, get off me! Ah! Oh my god, get off the thing! Oh my god! Oh, boy, are you who? Oh my god! What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you guys were a thing! Attacked by rhinoceroses. Oh, I'm coming across another... Oh my god! Oh my god, no! No, no, no! What? Holy crap! What did I do to you? Holy crap! <laughs> oh! 
No! 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 No, this at least offers me some protection. Then be sure to follow me and go back. I've got like 19 episodes at about a half hour each, almost 10 hours worth of Far Cry 4 footage. All leading up to me finishing the Far Cry 4 game. What was that? Uh, the Far Cry 4 game uh, during the Extra Life 24 hour live streaming event. I will be doing it on November 6th, Sunday, November 6th, starting at 8 a.m., running until 8 a.m. Monday, November 7th. So be sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash cdubbunny for that live event. Follow me on. Follow that event on Far Cry 4. Wow, this is terrible. This is what happens when you don't rehearse or, or come up with anything. I am C Dub Money, the mustachioed gamer, not for the month of November. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Fla face Facebook. What's Facebook? Like me on Facebook and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can always keep up with the latest and greatest of what's going on in the world of C Dub Money. And until next time, take care of one another and donate to Movember. Have a good day, everyone.